Hello, everybody. Well, 10 years. Feels like yesterday that six young men, including me, sat together here in Berlin and uh, decided to support a totally new, truly open platform called Android. And um, yeah, now 10 years later, all of us are a little bit older, including me, probably even a little bit senile, but read my back, senile with style. So talking about style, um, yesterday we started, and I hope you enjoyed our new interactive day. Um, we called it early bar camp, but now we change it a little bit. And responsible for this are especially Danny Preussler and my friend Friedger Mufke. So I want to have a big applause to, to them for this first day. I hope you enjoy it. I also want to say thank you to our program committee led by Sergei Suk. Um, we got this year more than 400 proposals for our conference days today and tomorrow. And it is always a hard task to select the lucky winners. And now we have this program with around, around about 100 really high class talks. And this program committee make this happen because they worked hard to read to, through all these papers and to select. So thank you very much to our program committee. They are doing a great, great job. <laughs> and last but not least, a very special, special thank you. First time ever I do it uh, in this frame to a special person um, that probably her role often at events are, is underestimated but because um, people always see, see these people running around and don't know probably what's their responsibility. But I'm talking about our project manager, Rita Schoenberg. She's um, working for hard for weeks now to make all this happen, to clarify all the details that are needed with audience and sponsors and, and uh, set up and all of this. And now this, all of this works, and um, it's a special situation because we, have, we will leave her now for at least a year, because now she's working on her own little private project. In a couple of months, she will start the wondrous miracle journey of being a mother, giving birth to lovely young little twins. So, but I hope to see her back again in a year, to get together with probably the next generation of female developers. Thank you very much, Rita. And now I want to give, take over to my lovely dear colleague, Tanya. She will tell you a little bit about our global projection and what has been done and what will be, will, what will be done in the future. Thank you very much. Uh, you, you, you're not uh, totally written off by, from me. In a, probably 20 minutes, I will see talk a little bit, uh, some sentences to close up. But now, please, Tanya, take over. Thank you. Thank you, Boris. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming here. I want to just start by um, a little uh, quiz to see how many people. This is your first DroidCon Berlin. If you can raise your hand. OK, how many people? It's your second. Third, fourth, fifth, six. Oh, we stopped at six. No six? OK. <laughs> Close enough. Well, we've had 10, so I'm curious if there is anyone that's been here for 10. Maybe Boris is the only one then. Is there one back there? <laughs> Um, so yeah, for the last 10 years in DroidCon, we've been focused on setting up um, DroidCon events in tech hubs around the world, New York City, San Francisco, London, Berlin, Tel Aviv. And now for the next 10 years, hopefully, we want to focus on setting up DroidCons in emerging markets around the world to support these Android ecosystems. So we're, we have um, quite a few new DroidCons. This year we have Singapore, Shanghai, Nairobi, Philippines, Kuala Lumpur, Shenzhen, Guinea, and Chile. So we're really focused on supporting these Android communities 
um, around the world, and actually they need the support of the international community. A lot of times we might not realize that uh, getting international speakers to these events can make or break some of these um, droid cons around the world. So I encourage you to check out our website, see the things that are coming up, and apply for the call for papers. We have a global call for paper system now, so it's really easy to apply to speak. Your bio and everything is saved there. And I've even seen recently at DroidCon Dubai that they did um, a, video, a video talk. So there may be some possibilities that you can give some talks, but the developers in those regions are very hungry for knowledge, and we need to come together as a community to support them. So, um, and all this actually would not be possible with our, without our existing network, and we have quite a few DroidCons here today. So we, I want to give them a big round of applause. We have Dubai, Tel Aviv, Romania, Vienna, Bangladesh, Philippines, Vietnam, NYC, and Chile. If we can give them a big round of applause for coming all the way to Berlin. So I encourage you to connect with us and connect with them. Um, these next few years, we're exploring different formats. We are doing workshops, enterprise workshops. You can see we have our enterprise track here. Um, and so if you have some ideas, I know this community is known for like generating amazing content. A lot of you are teachers, a lot of you are teaching others. So if you have some ideas, reach out to us and let's set something up for the future. And so for now, I'll introduce my colleague, Greg, who um, is gonna talk to you about some new initiatives that we're working on. Thank you. Thanks, Tanya. It's really fantastic. Tanya works really hard expanding our DroidCon community globally. And community is really at the heart of everything that we're doing at DroidCon. Community is all about sharing, sharing our knowledge. It's all about having a common identity as Android developers. It's about taking ownership, something that I think all of us can feel passionate about as open source and taking personal ownership really is part of the DNA of Android and everything we do. So we've spent the last 10 years primarily as an analog community, reaching and supporting our DroidCon communities at events like these, like a DroidCon. And right now, we are in the midst of undergoing, for us, a major transformation, in fact, a digital transformation. So our goal right now is to connect and support all of our global DroidCon communities on a global community platform, which means that you will be able to connect to any of the fellow Droidies anywhere, anytime, and any place. So our goal is to connect all the markets. We want to connect Berlin with Beijing. We want to connect Nairobi with New York. We want to connect Santiago, Chile with Shenzhen, and Tel Aviv with Torino. So all this is possible through our new global digital platform. So what are we doing? The global platform is first and foremost about collaboration. We're going to have moderated forums on any of the important topics, whether it's artificial intelligence, Kotlin, um, React Native, Flutter. You'll be able to post also and, and collaborate with other developers on, on numerous projects. Engagement is also going to be a huge part of the platform. You'll be able to follow the activity streams of other developers and also contribute your expertise to the online knowledge base. And really at its core, the digital platform that we're building is really all about learning together. So it's about centralizing all the knowledge. So we have a huge knowledge base that's generated at every single DroidCon worldwide. And in the past, all of this knowledge has sort of been on individual islands. So our goal is to centralize into one repository, really, uh, uh, <coughs> excuse me, all of the knowledge that's generated at the DroidCons, and that'll be accessible here. We also want to talk a little bit about security, too. We take security very seriously. I'm going to talk a little bit about the platform architecture in a minute, but to let you know, this is built on a secure platform. We've built in front of our platform an identity server. Everything's hosted here in Germany and it's a secure platform. Connecting is important here as well. We want the platform to be fun. So uh, I'll show you in a few minutes a, a few of the, the really cool features about how you can connect with other droidies uh, worldwide and, and find out which droid cons they're attending, uh, make plans, plans to meet them as well. The other thing we want to do with this platform is help connect you with the coolest jobs. This is not a traditional job platform. There's no recruiters. This is about us at DroidCon HQ connecting you with the coolest jobs worldwide.
rather than just talk about it, I want to show you a little bit about what we're doing. So when you log into the platform, this is sort of what you'll see. At the top, you can follow the latest threads, the activity streams of other droidies. You'll be able to see when the next droid cons are coming up. We'll link you to the best articles. Let's see if I can get this to scroll here. Yeah. The best articles, weather generated globally through news sources or through our various droid cons. You'll be able to see which forums are trending. You'll be able to see which videos have been posted from the latest droid con. You'll have a, a news feed of, of all of the social media channels that are being generated. And so it's going to be really a one-stop where you can get all the information you need on Android development and droid cons worldwide. You'll be able to build a custom profile and also connect with other droidies worldwide. You'll be able to follow, they'll be able to see your activity feed if you want them to. Uh, you'll be able to see others. And you'll be able to connect with them. You'll be able to put your experience on there, what you do, where you work. You'll be able to post projects and collaborate with other members of the digital platform worldwide and share knowledge and help build a better DroidCon product or dro better Android product. Uh, Tanya just asked recently how many DroidCons you've attended. We'll be able to phase that out, that part, because you'll be able to see it on the platform, you know, how many DroidCons everyone's attended. Uh, and you'll be able to also post photos. So it's not just only about learning and connecting, but it's really also about having fun and making it a cool experience to be on the platform. You'll be able to see all of our entire community worldwide, find your friends, connect with them uh, globally. You'll be able to find any information on any DroidCon worldwide, see which one of your friends are attending, make contact, share calendars, and plan to be at the same DroidCon as them. And finally, each DroidCon will have its own special landing page where you'll be able to get a one, in one centralized overview all the information on any DroidCon that you want to attend worldwide. You'll see an overview of the event. You'll see who's attending. You'll see what topics are being talked about in connection with this DroidCon. You'll see all the videos. So it's going to be a really, really exciting platform. We're excited to launch that. So what are we doing on that right now? For the last eight months, we've been hard at work building this platform. And the back end and the backbone of this platform is EXO. If you don't know EXO, EXO is a secure, open source, digital collaboration platform. We're also building this platform with a team from Breakpoint One. I want to ask Olaf and his team to come up really briefly and introduce themselves to you. And the reason I want you to get to meet Olaf and the team from Breakpoint One is they're going to be on site for the next few days. I want you to be able to talk to them and give them your feedback on the features, functionality of the platform, whether you have concerns about what it's going to be like, how the development process is going. Let me give the, the mic to, to Olaf for just one minute to have him introduce his team. OK, hi. Uh, my name is Olaf um, from Breakpoint One. Yeah, we are software developers from Berlin and uh, really happy to work with the DroidCon team on this platform. And yeah, um, hopefully you can give us some feedback or some ideas for this platform because it's of, for you. And yeah, maybe. It will be a great, uh, useful tool for you, and yeah, thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> thanks, all. <laughs> thanks. All right. Well, in, in fairness, I did tell Olaf it would be a brief introduction, so I think he took me a little too literally on that one. But well, I'm glad to work with Breakpoint. It's a really professional team. It's been fun working with them. Uh, so we're excited about, about the current development process. So every presentation needs a good call to action. So our call to action is join. So in the coming weeks, you'll be getting an invitation from us to join our digital platform. So we want you to come. But also not just come and kind of look around. We want you to actively contribute as you're used to in all the other community platforms that you're a part of. Contribute to the knowledge base. Contribute and share and take ownership. This is, this is an open source project. So this is something that you, our community here in Berlin, can have as much influence on as our communities in Beijing or Shenzhen or in Jakarta or Dhaka. We're really excited about that. We also have another invitation tomorrow at 1.40 
in the Lollipop Room, we'll be doing a, a quick workshop on the community platform. So if you want to come and be part of helping us to shape this, uh, your, your digital home for DroidCon and for your community, come join us at the workshop. Unfortunately, you're not done with me yet. We've got two initiatives to talk about. So we're really excited again. This has been a major project and major undertaking, realizing Boris's vision of, of connecting our DroidCon family worldwide on a platform. The other thing that we're doing this year is talking about enterprise. So in case you didn't know, Android really is dominating the enterprise. And to put this in perspective, this year, over 380 million Android phones are going to ship for business use. And already, 81% of the individually liable or bring your own device market is already Android. It's 65% corporate. So overall, globally, if you look at the numbers and the research, enterprises are dedicating a significant amount of their IT spend towards mobility and helping their employees be more productive and more creative. And not only that, but helping them to use the, and the device of their choice. So we think that this enterprise space is actually going to be very, very important for developers going forward. So what have we done on this? For this year, for the first time, we've integrated within our DroidCon Berlin an entire enterprise summit. So what are we doing there? we're going to be talking about some of the new platform investments in Android P. In fact, if you look at the developer preview and look at the, the documentation, I think personally the most exciting things are not in the consumer space, but in the enterprise space in terms of what Google has done with Android P. We'll be talking about best practices for building apps for the enterprise, looking at building uh, the same experience on an app for Android uh, for, for Chrome OS, using voice and assistant in the enterprise, building native enterprise apps with SAP, which is a brand new topic for us this year. We've also brought in experts to talk about developing apps for enterprise using Wear OS. And also a really important segment of this is how to deploy and manage all of the Android devices that are going to be out there in the field, even without an app. So there's going to be some exciting things going on at the Android Enterprise Summit right next door, so please take the time to check that out. This is a new segment, new initiative, and we think this is going to be increasingly important. So with that, I'm going to end my time. I want to turn the time over to Boris to talk about one more new product and initiative from the DroidCon headquarters team. Well, it's amazing this platform. I I have really great thoughts and and and, and um, great expectations in this platform to see the first time ever to see our global community not even growing but being in direct contact day by day over the year to give all of you the opportunity to learn other Droidcon family members around the world better known. Well, I talked about old people, probably we're getting older, but we're not getting lazy. So, um, yeah, the DroidCon team is also working on other products, and I'm really, really happy to announce a totally new product that we will launch in spring next year. It's an open-air tech science festival, and it's called Children of Doom Festival of Science. Well, it, um, initially it, was, it sprang out of my little ill brain, and now our team is working for a couple of months on this. The idea is very simple. Um, we believe in the power of science, in the power of racial behavior. We, are, uh, we, we think that developers are part of the good, good side of the world, who also want to be rational and um, thinking scientistic and not believing in, in facts and not alternative facts. And so we thought about how to build up a festival for techies. And the framework of all of this is the simple idea which technologies, which scientific projects are out there that probably have the potential to end civilization as we know it. Probably this could be a little bit weird on the first thought, but we're talking about really cool things like artificial intelligence, robots, pandemics, DNA engineering, 
but also things you cannot directly influence, like break out of a supervolcano or climate change. Yes, we can influence it, but I hope it's not too late. Even probably alien invasion could be possible. So uh, all these topics uh, are, have a great potential to, to be discussed in detail by high-class speakers, as you already know from DeutCon. So the idea is to gather high-class scientists from all over the world to one rundown location, rundown place here in Berlin to tell us about all the things that are going on in, on this way. And to spice this up, we will have a really great scenery. The idea is total Armageddon. We will have built the stage and the ape hill uh, out of overseas containers. And the greatest thing of all, we will have all around workstations on the location where you can discover yourself probably how to extract your own DNA and what to do with, it, with this, or tinkering around with robots, or probably even learning to shoot with a crossbow to deer your own hunt, to, do, to, to hunt your own deer um, after um, all supermarkets are closed. So that's basically the idea of this, and we, we're working hard to do this in spring next year. I would be really love to see a couple of uh, people from this audience to join us, so if you have any ideas, um, we're, uh, it's welcome to, to contribute to this. You will uh, find now our Facebook site online. We will open up a website for this. We have even the first keynoters that confirmed um, for us their attendance, so stay tuned for this project. It will be really, really cool. And the last thing from my side is um, just a reminder, also for the first time, we will open up during a running DroidCon here in Berlin the early, super early, early bird for 2019. So my team just pushed me and, and told me, you have not to forget, uh, in this minute we will start via Twitter the opening for the ticketing for 2019, but it's only a limited contingent um, for these super early bird tickets. So you have to follow our hashtag here for Berlin, and then you have the chance, probably fixed up by the scenery today and tomorrow, just to grab your ticket for next year, because Happy the bad side is we will see. You. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, dear DroidCon. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> what is 10 years without a cake and a happy birthday song? Happy birthday to all of us. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, I made it. <laughs> the old man made it. <laughs> And now my dear colleague Vivian will take over on a pro much more professional way than me and introduce oh the God. rest of the program to you, all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Boris. Is it on? Yes.